Hello everyone. Welcome to our weekly updates of digital marketing concepts. In this uh, week, we are going to discuss about some of the changes which has happened in various uh, areas of digital marketing. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates as well as new tutorials. Now, the first update we had on May 15th, that is after the previous uh, week update, that Google Bard is have updated few things in their uh, you know AI system. So what they have uh, given is one feature they have added is to summarize the topic. So whatever the topics we uh, they are, we are added into Bard and we get the details. So we can uh, now the Bard can summarize that in a more easier way. And number two is if uh, we ask certain questions and when Google takes up information from certain sources, so it will provide more details about those sources as well. So basically the content from where the BART is generating or and from where it is getting the content information that will be visible to us. It's a source visibility have in print which is a great thing for publishers as well. So two things here in BART. Number one is basically they have uh, added the more uh, better summarized version of the content for any type of topic and then we also have a new feature of uh, looking at the uh, source content visibility. So that's the first very important update. Number two, Google Ads. Now related to Google Ads, basically it is uh, uh, only for European, uh, you know, uh, area as well as UK, European countries, some of the European countries and uh, UK. So what is this update is about this? Because as you know, uh, European uh, countries and UK has a very uh, strict regulations regarding the privacy of the audience. So a new regulation has been added where if any publisher is there, okay, any publisher is there, they have to use something called as consent uh, management, uh, you know, uh, platforms. So let's see, MP, content, consent, man, uh, consent management platform. So what is the idea of that? Is that information should be provided to the user when publisher, uh, a website owner has a website and he's showing the ads of Google. Now that we, with the help of that, uh, see uh, MPs, we can able to display the user about how the data is going to be used, what type of data is going to be uh, personalized and what type of data is stored for advertising and marketing purpose by Google Ads. So that is basically a uh, regulation in terms of legal as well as in terms of privacy related. So this is one update uh, only for uh, uh, European and UK market. Then we have a very uh, you know strange uh, update and Google is going, YouTube is going to introduce uh, a 30 second non skippable TV ads. Now, as you know, that today because of the growth of smart uh, smart TVs, all right, so most people are consuming a lot of content on television. So, what YouTube is going to do is apart from their existing ads, they are going to work out on them. Uh, they have introduced a non skippable 30 seconds ad as well. And uh, basically, uh, this will also help uh, marketers to target the television audience as well. So, this we have to see if you have a client for whom you are doing YouTube marketing and if your majority of your audience are coming from television, then there is a possibility you can able to take leverage of this new addition or new feature. Next, we have uh, a WordPress update 6.2.1 causing sites to break. Now, as we regularly know that uh, we update our uh, WordPress and plugins, etc. But one rule always is there that whenever we are working on any project, we have to make sure that uh, we take a backup, all right? So if this uh, right now, this update uh, is uh, you know getting a lot of technical troubles for uh, our website owners, and that's why if you are uh, uh, below the version six point two point one, if you want to upgrade, take a full backup using Updraft Plus or any other uh, plugins. Take a full backup and then do the testing of this update. Then only it will, I would say it will be safer. Else uh, there are a lot of uh, website owners facing the problem with six point two point one update. So. Then uh, one more uh, information has been uh, published by uh, actually explained by John Mueller, Mueller that SSL certificate does not boost SEO. Now, in fact, I have uh, read in one of the Google documents itself in the beginning, all right, uh, maybe like uh, when SSL was being introduced, that being an SSL is uh, a positive factor, being an SSL is good for SEO like that. But John Mueller has clearly, clearly mentioned that. SSL certificate will not boost your ranking, but anyway, user confidence is always there. If I'm not having an SSL 
certificate user may not want to fill the form because it's uh, completely uh, anyone can actually uh, you know read in the data from the network. So user confidence is always there, but Google says that John Mueller says that uh, it is not going to have an impact or boost the SEO ranking. So this is the updates of uh, this week, uh, friends. I hope uh, you understood all the concepts. Very simple updates, not too complicated. So I have just concluded the video in a short version itself. And thanks for watching uh, our video. And please subscribe to our channel. And uh, in upcoming week, uh, we are going to launch a new course, which is a complete SEO program, which will be around uh, six to seven hours of program with a practical step-by-step -step process. So stay tuned and watch our next video, which will be on the in-depth SEO uh, program with practical implementation of six plus hours of subject. Thank you very much.